Here's a new Big Bang program. As you can see, when I move my mouse around, this red circle follows wherever my mouse pointer goes. In this video, we're going to see how to use structures to represent a world. I've started with a require statement for the universe library and the image library, which will allow us to use Big Bang and also create images. Now let's recall the data definitions and structure definitions for points that we've seen already. Remember that the define struct point that we see here creates four functions. Make point, which we use in our data definition, point dash x and point dash y, which access the two numbers inside of a point, and point question mark, or point ha, huh, which tells us whether something is or is not a point. To create our animation, we're going to define two functions. First, a function that takes a point and draws it onto a scene. Here we have the signature, purpose, and header for the draw function. Draw takes a point and produces an image. And the image in particular will be one with a circle at the point specified. And our header tells us that we have one input, which we're calling P. Now let's write some examples. To make our examples easier, we're going to define two constants, images that will be used in almost all of our examples. Here, background will be the background for all of our animations, and it's an empty scene 400 wide and 400 high. Disk is a solid red circle. Here we have three examples. Each one represents a different point at 20, 20, 1, 1, and 100, and 100, and each uses disk and background as the image and the background and places the disk at the appropriate coordinates against the background. All three of these examples use the place image function. Here's the signature of the place image function. It takes one image, two numbers, and then another image, second image being the background, and it produces a new image with the first one placed on the background at the appropriate coordinates, exactly what we need for draw. Here's the template for the draw function. It follows the template that we've seen before for structure processing functions because we access the two components of P with the point dash X and point dash Y functions uh, applied to the input P, which is our point point dash x and point dash y both produce numbers. So we have two numbers that we can work with in our template. Now let's write the body of the function. We'll begin by copying the template. Now that we've copied the template, we're going to make it look like the examples by using the place image function and the disk and background constants. Now we're going to run our program, but before we do that, we're going to need to comment out the template and header. Now when we click the Run button, Dr. Racket tells us that all our tests have passed. Now let's define the mouse function. Here's the signature for the mouse function. This follows the signature for every mouse event handling function that we'll see that uses Big Bang. It takes a point, that's the current world, two numbers, that's where the mouse event happened, and a mouse event, which is a string telling us what kind of mouse event it was. Here's our purpose and header. They tell us that we're going to create a new point at the location of the mouse event, and we've named all four of our inputs, P, X, Y, and M, E. Now let's write some examples. These three examples demonstrate that when we get a new mouse event, we discard the information in the current point, and it doesn't matter what kind of mouse event we have, we always create a new point at the location of the mouse event. Now, with these examples in hand, let's move on to our template. Here's our template. You can see that we've taken an inventory of what's available to us to define the function, including x, y, and me, as well as the two components of the point which we access with point dash x of p and point dash y of p. So we've got five pieces of data and we can use those to produce our answer. Now let's write down the body of the function. 
all we need to produce is a new point using the x and y coordinates of the mouse event. The location of the old point and the kind of mouse event are not relevant. We can tell that from our examples because the examples just ignore those pieces of data. Now that we've written down the function body, we can run our program to check that our tests pass. But first, again, we're going to comment out the header and template. Now when we click run, all our tests will pass. Now let's put this together to produce our Big Bang animation. Remember, the important components of a Big Bang are, after we write the name Big Bang, we have to provide the initial world. Here our world is a point, so our initial world will be a point that we pick. I'm going to pick the point at 100, 100, which is in the middle of our scene. And then we have to tell Big Bang how to handle mouse events and how to draw our world. This says that to draw our world, we use the draw function. This says that whenever we have a mouse event, we use the mouse function, both of which we've just defined. Now when I click run, all my tests will pass and we will see the animation. And here's the animation exactly as we expected it.